DFS LOL coming at you with Thursday uh, NFL Week 2 analysis. Today we're going to go over some uh, fades and players that we should avoid this week. Uh, first to just break down, uh, we have a Thursday night game, Houston, Cincinnati, 38 total, Cincy by 6, should be a bore fest, I don't have too much uh, exposure to that game, do have a few plays here and there, but nothing all too major, so let's uh, jump right into it, uh, this week we'll start off at, at the uh, quarterback position, we'll just see who uh, who everybody likes and sort based on that. Um, to to look into the quarterbacks to avoid first off I'm gonna start start off with Dak Dak Prescott uh, he's got a really tough matchup here against Denver obviously the best cornerback team in the game he's going to have some real big trouble getting the ball out to Dez so those two combinations I'm no go on those I'm gonna X those off and keep those uh, players out of the pool Next is uh, we have Deshaun Kaiser, another guy you should completely avoid here. Baltimore completely destroyed Cincinnati, made made them look silly. They they put up zero points on the board. So Deshaun looked great week one. You know, look silly this week. Uh, third quarterback to avoid. We want to look at Kurt Cousins. He's going up the against the Rams. At first this. Uh, this matchup a little bit intrigued me. I thought it was a little bit interesting. I thought it might be something I want to keep in my pool. But digging deeper into the Rams defense, they look like there might be something a little bit more legitimate. You probably want to avoid them. Uh, there is a couple of other items that people are talking about they might want to look into. Brian Hoyer, for me, I'm just not even considering it. He's... he's basically dead to me unless he proves otherwise. He doesn't really have the weapons to be able to make himself look good. Last week he put up 5.22 points uh, against uh, Seattle this weekend. A very tough cornerbacks uh, secondary so he's going to be completely terrible as well. Uh, moving on we're gonna look at uh, running backs. First of all Jordan Howard He's come up with the uh, injuries on the injury report effective today. He uh, he he got about 50% of the snaps. He's going to be looking at less and less action this week because uh, Tarek Cohen's coming in. Tarek Cohen's going to probably take at least 50% of the snaps. He's the pass catcher. They need receivers. It's going to be a very heavy game for the, the running backs. However, I think Tarek Cohen's going to take the bulk of it. Uh, the second running back that I think is uh, worth a fade here is Todd Gurley. Reason being, he had the perfect matchup. He should have been able to put up about 35 fantasy points last week. Instead, he had he did have a relevant game. However, it wasn't as good of a game as it should have been. Uh, he did have he was I believe his top five running back, but he was putting up about 2.1 yards per carry uh, against a tougher defense. He's not somebody I'm going to be taking a look at. And then, I talked about it before, but uh, the defense split, or, or sorry, the uh, sh market share split between DeMarco and Henry, it's working out to be about a 66-33% split. It's tough competition against Jacksonville. They're amazing defense so far, and they've shown it. They're going to be playing from behind, I believe, yeah. Or, sorry, the, it's about even, so... The, the usage for the running back shouldn't be overly that much. So definitely somebody to leave off your, your roster. Uh, definitely, even uh, for myself, I was working at, looking at Isaiah Crowell as another candidate that, that you might possibly want to think about leaving off. The uh, defense he's up against this week is quite strong, and there's even been talk about DJ getting a little bit more rushing role so it may in fact eat into Isaiah Chris Crowell's uh, usage so leave him off for sure uh, now we're diving into the wide receiver role so uh, a couple of ones you'll want to definitely leave off as I said before Des Bryant you definitely want to leave him off he's going against the top cornerbacks in the game so 
uh, definitely hit the X on him. Uh, as for Indianapolis, their wide receivers, you just can't have any trust with them until until Andrew Luck gets back. So definitely X them off. But yeah, they're great value, I, I have to say. I considered them, but I mean, they're not going to put up these numbers. Based on this, they're only looking at a potential two uh, touchdowns this weekend, so definitely want to avoid them as well. Um, also, Chicago has a way of shutting down opponents' number one wide receiver. So in this week, it's Mike Evans, and uh, DJX is the number two. Uh, definitely, they're going to shut down Mike Evans. They'll do what they did to do... Julio last weekend. Julio got about 10 fantasy points, so I don't expect a, a blowout game from uh, Mike Evans here for sure. So something definitely uh, you want to consider. And the fourth target I looked at was Alan Hearns, and he's a great price. He's 3900 I had him in my original pool, but then looking at the matchup he's getting this weekend, I immediately X'd him off. It's not something I want to have anything to do with, so... I think this game as well, Jacksonville, should be fairly quick. I think there's going to be a lot of run from the Jacksonville side of things, so keep that in mind. Now if we drop down to tight ends, tight ends that I think you should completely ignore. First of all, Austin Hooper, 100%, get rid of him. He had two big, do, two big plays last week. Uh, other than that... If he didn't have those two big plays, he wouldn't have uh, even been been on the uh, score sheet. So, given this week, there's the pass defense is going to be a lot worse for uh, up against Green Bay. You're going to expect a lot higher numbers with the wide receivers over the tight end. Uh, the next one not to consider is uh, Jesse James. Of course, Jesse James had two touchdowns last weekend. Eight targets, six receptions, kind of fluky, I think. He's going to be brought de back to earth, so definitely look somewhere else. Hit the X on this guy. So as always, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll talk to you soon.